Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we have some pretty interesting information to talk to you guys about today. Let's start with the elephant in the room, and that is that the gun running update did not release today. That's right, June 6th, Tuesday, was one of the most popular release date predictions for gun running to arrive, and as you can obviously tell, it is not in the game yet. Now, I don't think any of us should be upset at this. We can be disappointed that it's not here earlier and that we're not able to enjoy it right now. But as of when I'm making this video, there's been no confirmed release date. So in no circumstance can you call this a delay. In no circumstance can you be upset with Rockstar because they haven't promised anything or they haven't broken any promises yet. The only thing they've said about gun running is that it's going to be coming out in the month of June, which we obviously still have a ton of time left in June for that to happen. So we can cross one Tuesday off of our list as today gun running was not added into the game. And this kind of makes us wonder, well, what are the next possible dates we could look at? Well, Tuesdays are the most likely dates, so the next three would be the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th. But Rockstar doesn't necessarily have to release this update on a Tuesday. They could do it on a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday. It's unlikely, but it's their update. They can choose to release it really whenever they want. But that really kind of does leave us in the dark now until Rockstar come out with an official answer because for the longest time we were relying on Jan's riddle, which he has even come out and said it might not even make all that much sense now, so we can't really rely on that as he doesn't even know when it's going to be added into the game. Now, speaking of Jan's riddle, if every other thing is correct, and that's a pretty big assumption right there, we actually do now know the number of weapons that are getting upgrades. That would actually be six. Since six is not the release date, which is today, that would mean that that six has to go to the number of weapons that are getting upgrades. Because Mach 1 Bud confirmed that it's not 17 and it's not eight. So how do you guys feel about that if that is the case? The number of weapons that are getting upgraded is six. I feel like that is a little low, but at the same rate, this is the first time that Rockstar has introduced something like that, so they might just be testing the water here. And of course, in future updates, we might find that they do this more frequently, adding one or two new weapons that receive those updates as well. But I want to pass that question on to you guys. When do you think gun running is going to be added into Grand Theft Auto Online? Do you think it's going to happen next Tuesday, which would be June 13th? That's when a lot of people are saying this update is going to arrive. That's when the current event ends. Ends. The event ends on June 12th, so the day after that would be the 13th, making it a, a pretty nice opportunity for Rockstar to do something like that. So that could make a whole lot of sense right there. But until we do see something from them, it really is a mystery. It could come out at any time. Rockstar isn't bound by any schedule or anything like that. So we will just have to wait and see, but I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Now, let's talk about what was added into the game today because there is a little bit of new content. So even though Rockstar did not announce it on the Newswire, they added a new premium race and a new time trial into the game. So just like last week, this is actually a pretty good opportunity for you guys to make some money in order to get ready for the gun running update. It's not a ton, but hey, it's the opportunities that are presented in front of us, at least for the next upcoming week. So the new premium race is called Night Ride. It is locked to the Ruiner 2000. It is a lapped race, which I think is a little unfortunate because it is a long, long lap. It's 5.35 miles with the Rocket Voltic, and doing three laps, even if you win, is probably going to take you over 10 minutes. So it's not as quick as the premium race we did last week, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it still shouldn't be longer than 11 or 12 or 13 minutes. But that's an easy way if you win that you can actually earn $80,000 right there. Now, the Ruiner 2000 races for me are a little tricky. You have to kind of use the parachutes and the jumps and the way you angle your car. I am certainly not the best racer in the game, but if you know tips and tricks for like using the Ruiner 2000, you definitely want to pull them out on this race because it does have a ton of parachuting and a ton of opportunities for you to try and like glide down or try and beat someone and also have an upgraded uh, Ruiner 2000. The upgraded Ruiner 2000 is so much better than the stock one, which is actually a lot different from what we see in the Rocket Voltic where whether upgraded or not, 
it doesn't matter all that much. So you definitely need to get your hands on an upgraded version if you wanna seriously consider thinking about winning one of these races. And then we've got this week's time trial, which I will admit is much easier than the one we did last week. So that is actually really good news. The time trial is Great Ocean Highway. Now it is a pretty long one and essentially it takes you from the gun store, the ammunition in Los Santos, all the way up to that like Hookie's restaurant right past Fort Zancudo. It's really, really easy though. I did this with the Hakachu Drag. You can do this with other vehicles. I've seen people do it with supercars. Basically, you're gonna start on the top of this parking garage. You're gonna jump down, drive a couple blocks through the city. You're gonna get on the highway and then you're literally going to go straight. You're not going to make a single turn. Now, what I would recommend here is that you use a bike to try and cut in between traffic. So instead of following the loops and the curves of the road, try and make a straight line. That's gonna be quicker. So if that means going on the other side of the highway, do it. If that means taking a little bit of a shortcut, go for it. Uh, I actually had a pretty easy time doing this. My issue was never not getting to the location fast enough, but instead was hitting objects like telephone poles or cars or having traffic swerve into me. Because if you're on a bike and you get knocked over, that is it. You are 100% done and you're gonna have to restart. The only thing I don't love about this time trial is if you restart, instead of the game spawning you on top of the parking garage where you have to start, it spawns you on the bottom floor. So you have to drive up the ramps and the loops to do it every single time, which is a little bit frustrating, but if you're able to do it on your first try, which many of you guys probably should, it's super easy and it's gonna get you $50,000 or 51 or 52. I can't really remember what it is, but it's gonna be a great way for you to make a little bit of extra cash. So that's pretty much how you can get $130,000. And I would say about roughly 15 minutes, which is quite nice if you're getting ready for gun running. So Foxy Snaps put out something that was really interesting. He said, for all past eight DLCs, QA beta updates stopped for Depot 271594 the week prior. And he actually provided this calendar right here. So in December 15th, that was executives and other criminals. The last QA beta update was on the 8th. And then the update came out on the 15th. That was exactly one week. In January 2016 for the drop zone update, same thing. QA beta updated on the 21st. The update came out on the 28th. For March and Lowriders Customs Classics, it was a little bit less than a week. The 9th was the last time it updated. The 15th is when the DLC came out. For Finance and Felony, it was exactly one week, the 31st and then the 7th. For Cunning Stunts, it was a little less than a week. So we had the 6th and the 12th. For Bikers, same thing, a little less than a week, the 28th and the 4th of September and October. December for Import Export, it was actually longer than a week for the first time. It ended on the 5th, came out on the 13th. And then for Cunning Stun Special Vehicle Circuit, it was exactly one week. The 7th was the last time the QA beta was updated. And then the DLC was released on the 14th. So that should give us a pretty good indication on when we can expect gun running. So if QA beta stops updating either today or tomorrow, I think it's a surefire confirmation that the update will be coming out on the 13th of June. However, if it continues to update into Thursday and Friday of this week, I sense that it might actually be a little bit longer than that, that it will be coming out after June the 13th. Now, I know some people are still confused on what QA Beta is. FunMW2 chimes in and he says, no, QA Beta 2 is for the development process. QA Beta is quality assurance for final testing. They have been updating QA Beta almost every day because it's in the final stage of testing. You would think they would spend their days doing nothing, question mark. It doesn't matter if QA Beta is updated a few hours ago or two hours from now, as it's already confirmed the update is coming out this month. So I think what FunMW2 is trying to say is it doesn't matter how often they are updating QA Beta. Of course, they're going to be doing it. I still think it's interesting what Foxy Snap said, though, is when they stop, I think that'll give us a better indication on when the update is coming out. But still, FunMW2 is correct as the only confirmation that we have is that it is going to be coming in the month of June. And Rockstar said that two newswires ago. Now, speaking of things Rockstar said, do you guys remember a couple days ago when we checked out how many videos Rockstar had on their channel? So publicly, they only had 224, yet a bunch of uh, video statistic websites, and if you actually clicked on their channel in more detail, it said they had 225 
total videos, which would indicate that one of them was privated or unlisted. And a lot of people assumed that this could be the gun running trailer that they had it uploaded to their channel already, ready to be posted at any time. Well, I think that mystery gets even weirder now as we can see here that both the amount of public videos matches what it actually shows on their channel, 225. So has that mystery now been solved? Did Rockstar end up making a video public? Did they delete one or something like that? All I know is this mystery is getting way more confusing and I don't know what this means now. Did they remove the gun running trailer? Are they gonna re-upload it, edit it? Was that even the gun running trailer? There's obviously no confirmation of that, but I did think that was pretty interesting that after two or three days that that change was made. It could have easily been a YouTube bug or something like that, but I still think that's very interesting. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I just wanted to give you a brief update on really everything that's going on regarding gun running the release and so much more if you guys did go and enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video